Welcome back to a new video. So in today's video we are going to talk about this. Yes, we have a new arcade machine, a new mini arcade machine, 181. But I can already tell you, this is going to be a little bit of a spoiler. This is not our typical arcade machine. No, we did a lot of reviews. So if you missed it out, I make a playlist for them and leave a link in the description. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit a little bell, of course. But I made a lot of reviews about those mini arcade machines. I just love those things. They are funny, they're cute, and they are just funny collectibles. But the question always remains, what are we going to get with the games? And this one, I must say, if you look at the casing itself, it's more like the same. If you look at all those other systems, but when turning around, you don't see very, you don't see very big differences if you compare it with the other ones. But this is something we're going to find out while getting it out of the box. So stay tuned and let's go. Ah, what's tight. Alright, so this is what we're going to get. I must say, first of all, it weighs quite heavy. Alright, let's do a little bit of an overview. What are we going to get with this little mean of machine? And uh, let's go. Most important thing that we need to have with this thing is a toilet, Chinese toilet paper manual, people. Yeah. And it's very huge. Woo! So it got some basic explanation specifications. 8-bit chipsets built in 180 games inside. 2.8 inch TFT screen. Dual power supply. Dual power supply. In other words, we can use three AAA batteries. You can see here, make a very nice pretty picture. Yeah, I like. Alright. That's it. Alright. Arcade boy time. All right, so at the front side we're finding left the joystick, A, B button, reset, volume control, and the start button. At the back we're finding an on and off switch, and yes, here is the speaker, not at the front. Very weird, but nevertheless, this is what we're going to get. And the battery compartment. All right, so let's open it up. Let's see what's inside. And what you can see here, we're having three double A batteries. I'm not a big fan of it. I personally really like when they have this rechargeable pack inside or lithium battery. So you can just with a micro USB recharge it. But no, it's not what we're going to get. So a bit of a bummer. What I really like to point out with this mini arcade machine, and you can see it on the camera, the view angle is really not bad. The funny thing is this view angle of this screen is way better if you buy, let's say, a portable system for the same amount of money. So that's a little bit weird, if you ask me. So the colors are not bad at all for a cheap, for a cheap LCD or device like this. So I just wanted to point out and show you what you can expect for the view angle. All right, let's power on. Oh yeah, now the sound. All right, um, we have a reset. Yes, this reset button. This is the start button and volume control. Three settings. Just reset. Oh, it also resets the sound. There's a little bit of bummer. Oh, that sounded weird, but nevertheless. All right, let's scroll a little bit through the list. The first thing I'm noticing is that this thing contains licensed games. Ooh, that is very naughty. So we came from the point that we're having this mini arcades with homebrew 8-bit games. Well, not bad at all, but now it's containing real 8-bit games. I see a lot of great games. Mighty Bomb Jack. Mario. I saw Mario in the beginning. Oh yeah, there is a lot of crap on it. And no, you cannot swap out games. For the people who are thinking, maybe you can swap it. No, you're stuck with the stuff that is on it. Right, that's the list. Let's play some games. <laughs> what is this? I think this is more like a hack game. Yeah. I've really no clue how the original game was named. Whoa, he's getting angry. Uh, the screen is very nice. 
So I must say, this game runs pretty decent, if you ask me. The sound is not bad at all. Not bad at all. And they even put the Dr. Mario version on it. Right, this is a game you don't see very often. <clears throat> All right, bring it on. Wow, that sounds really horrible. Oh, what happened? Oh, it's the punching sound that is just horrible. So the NES emulation is pretty poor, if you ask me. Whoa, now it sounds again literally horrible. I'm missing the turbo function on this thing. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Who's the Kung Fu Master now? What do you want? Oh, I was thinking the game was freaking glitching or something like that. <laughs> And the joystick itself is pretty nice. What the hell is this? Oh, that sound. There are really some weird games on this thing. And yes, we have the Angry Bird homebrew game on it. Oh wait, it's the Avenger game. <laughs> I knew I just killed myself. Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> okay. Alright, so there are some double games on it because I have noticed this game in an the beginning of the list. Oh, I found the Pac-Man game. <laughs> oh yeah. Sound is pretty damn loud in this thing. Nope. Oh, we also have the original Pac-Man game. Nice. Alright people, for the final conclusion about this 180N1 mini arcade machine. To be honest, this is one of the best versions I have seen for the money. Mm -hmm.